All right, Shalom, Shalom. First off and foremost, as always, I want to say, call him Lam La, Yahweh, Bahashem, Yahweh Shai, Bahashem, Kakwadash. Double honor being to the elder apostles of Great Millstone that do rule and teach well. And it's a Shalom to you, Ankim, out there that's pushing this truth through the spirit, through the power, and through the name of Yahweh, Bahashem, Yahweh Shai, Bahashem, Kakwadash. Okay, so I want to, you know, you know, do a, a quick lesson, you know, on the topic of, you know, pride and, you know, the the uh, pride of the inhabitants, you know, here in, you know, this uh, this uh, kingdom, you know, here in Babylon, you know. And, uh, you know, soon, you know, the pride of these people will be, you know, laid will be uh, laid to rest. OK, because, you know, a lot of, um, you know, Babylonians, you know, they uh you know, they really rely, you know, on the uh, the dainties, you know, the uh, the way of life here of Babylon, you know, that they think that, um, you know, this, you know, that, that this is it, you know, and, and how they treat each other, you know, especially how they treat, you know, um, you know, uh, Israelite men, you know, especially the men of the Lord, you know, these people out here, you know, they're, uh, you know, they're very uh, conniving, you know, very, uh, very bitter, you know, very, uh, they're wicked, you know, very, uh, prideful, you know, and, you know, they're under the vibration of, you know, Esau Edom, you know, because he's ruling right now and because he's ruling, you know, the whole world, you know, uh, is in wickedness. Okay. You know, they, uh, they, they're, uh, set, setting their ways to do evil, you know, they, uh, you know, they think contrary, you know, to the Bible, to the words of Yahweh Bashem Shai, you know, so all across the board, you know, this place, you know, these, these, uh, these, uh, citizens of Babylon, you know, they have to be, uh, you know, uh, put to the side, you know, put to the side for a minute, you know, be destroyed is what I'm saying. Okay. So real quickly, since I, I quoted that scripture, let's grab this. This is the book of, uh, first John chapter 5 and verse um, uh, 19 and it says and we know that we are of the most high and the whole world lieth in wickedness you see the whole world lieth in wickedness so right now you know you know as far as us being in captivity you know being you know um, under this you know this devil you know a woman being over us right a new thing in the earth that a woman shall compass a man a, a man you know we're at the, we're in the worst case scenario. This is the worst captivity. This is, this is, this is hell, man. You know, but soon the Lord is going to, you know, deliver us out of this this uh this uh Egypt, okay, just like He did in ancient Egypt. But this time around, it's going to you know be the elect that will be delivered out of this Egypt, okay. On the elect, the hundred and forty four thousand, right? You know, so back to the precept. It says, and the whole, and we know that we are. And we know that we are of the most high and the whole world lied the wickedness, right? The whole world lied the wickedness because it's, because it's a wicked, a wicked uh, ruler ruling, you know, wicked king, you know, a, a wicked nation. All right. Is, is ruling the earth right now. OK, the uh, the elite bankers, you know, the, the wicked, you know, Edomites, you know, they're ruling. Right. So because they're, they're wicked, you know, their vibration, you know, you know, that that. um you know that vibration is put out here you know upon the earth because of them you know and that's why these you know that's why the inhabitants of the people of the excuse me of babylon that's why they operate this way that's why they're prideful because esau is prideful you know that's why they're you know they're, they're in the spirit of, of yolo you know do as thou wilt because that's how esau operates you see and real quick let's grab this quick precept just to uh you know prove that you know, like the scriptures say, as the king sold the people. All right, this is Sirach chapter ten, and uh, verse uh, one. It says, "A wise judge will instruct his people, and the government of a prudent man is well ordered." And right now, you know, things are out of order here in Babylon. You know, it says that the um, the earth is out of course. I believe in the Book of Psalms, the eighty second chapter. Okay, you know the the whole earth. It's out of course because of this devil, okay? And 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 these, these people out here, you know, the masses, you know, the sheeple, they follow suit, 
You know, whatever Esau says, they do. Whatever, you know, Esau says, they just gobble it right up. Okay? But right now, this place is completely out of order. So it says, a wise judge will instruct his people, and the government of a prudent man is well ordered. As Verse 2, as the judge of the people is himself, so are his officers. And what manner of man the ruler of the city is, such are, such are all they that dwell therein. You see, so... You know, what we're, what we're witnessing right now is, you know, ultimately, you know, the fruit, you know, of Esau. You know, this is how he got the people. You know, you know, he, you know, you know, he's the reason why these people think how they think, you know, act how they act, speak how they speak, you know, do things that they do because of him. You see, because right now this whole world is being, uh, uh, it's under the Satan's authority. You know, you know, we're in Satan's seat. This place is, is, is very demonic. Is you know, it's very satanic. You can worship Satan openly, you know, and, and you cannot eat and you can actually have a choice to not believe in the most high as wicked. You see? But soon, you know, in our kingdom, you know, uh, uh every every nation is gonna, you know, worship Yahweh Bashmal Shah is, you know, is gonna serve Yahweh Bashmal Shah is gonna, you know, uh, uh and they you know they're gonna, you know, serve us. You know, that you know they're gonna serve, you know, um, you know, the the, the Lord's people. You know, starting off with the elect, they're gonna serve us, okay? And and then you know the whole world is gonna be in right in, in a very righteous vibration. You see, because right now, you know, uh, people are mourning, people are you know uh, in distress, you know, people are uh, you know they, they you know they're struggling right now. You know, they don't know when the next meal is gonna be, okay? Babylon, um, Americans are struggling, okay? And why is that? Because of the wicked rulership. You see, if if Esau was a, a, a well ordered, you know, being, you know, he would you know do better unto his people. But but guess what? He don't. Okay, even the the, the two time Edomites, you know, on ground level, you know, they're losing. Okay. The scriptures say, you know, um uh, uh who shall he be uh you know good to if if he's not good to himself, loosely paraphrasing it, you see? So hey man, we we we're in the worst case scenario, right? You know, we're in a complete hell. Okay, and uh, real quick, I did quote a scripture. All right, this is a book of Proverbs uh, 29, verse 2. It says, uh, when the righteous are in authority, the people rejoice. Okay, and right now, you know, nobody's rejoicing because guess what? We're not in authority, right? In the elect, you know, you know uh, we're not in authority right now. We're not in complete authority. All right. You know, and, and if we were, you know, it would be a whole different story. You know, you know, uh, uh, nature itself would be sink. Trees would be singing. Right. You know, the uh, the people, they'll be satisfied. You know, they'll be content. But right now they're not, you know, because they're stressed out under Esau's rulership, under Satan's authority. OK. And it says, but when the wicked bear the rule, the people mourn, right? They're mourning. OK, now, but I believe when we go into that word people. All right. Uh, real quick, for, uh, Proverbs 29 and verse 2, that word people, when you go into a little deeper, it says, um, let's see here. Hmm. Okay, okay. It says uh, nation people. Okay, now when it says nation people, when you go a little deeper, it says a tribe as those of Israel, okay. So when you look at it, you know, a little deeper, you know, you can say that that people is is are, is Israel, Israelites. You see, you know, it says when the wicked bear of rule, the people mourn. You can say that Israel mourns, and ultimately, you know, who's mourning right now? Who's a sign of crying? You know, the the elect, right? Just like just uh, just as it says in the book of Ezekiel, uh, nine and four, right? Let's grab that real quick. This is the book of Ezekiel, chapter uh, <clears throat> nine and four, and it says, "And the Lord Yahweh Bahashimi Haoshai said unto him, Go through the midst of the city, through the midst of Jerusalem, and set a mark upon the foreheads of the men that sigh and that cry, for all the abominations that be done in the midst thereof." You see, so the Lord has a spiritual mark, and that word mark means the why. I'm excuse me, the word mark there in the Hebrew is the wild, which that word the wild means to be exempt from judgment, which we can I we, I can tell you right here. Okay. Let's see. <clears throat> right? So when you go into that word mark, it says a mark 
as a sign of exemption from judgment. You see, and that word exemption, it means uh, um, immunity, the process or of freeing or state of being free from an obligation or liability imposed on others. You see, so the elect, you know, they have that spiritual mark upon them to be um, f uh, um, to be exempt from judgment, to be freed from any impending doom because they're signed and crying because, you know, they're crying out to you about Shema Shai about these people out here. You know, the wickedness, you know, uh, uh, their pride, you know, and it's a lot here for, you know, going off, you know, the topic a little bit. But, you know, sometimes, you know, you, you may have, you know, the spirit just being rolling and you got to just go with the spirit gives you. Right. So sometimes you may have a lesson within a lesson. Right. So the elect are signing crying about these people out here, the wickedness, you know, the, the, the corrupt, you know, eating my government, us being in hell, us being in captivity. All right. But we know. That we're going to get delivered You see And just like in ancient Egypt When the Lord You know Heard our cries What did he do He, he heard us And delivered us He remembered his covenant That he made with us You see So how much more In today's time In this new Egypt Okay What makes any Other kingdom different That you know The, the Lord You know uh, If the Lord can deliver us Before how, how, it, don't, it don't make a difference now You see The only thing that's different Is You know The year And you know, the, um, you know, uh, society, if you know what I mean, like, you know, the technology and things like that. But, hey, this is, it's no different, man. The Lord is going to deliver us. OK, that's prophecy. OK, you know, and um, but ultimately I want, you know, back to the topic of these people, you know, being prideful, man, because here it is, you know, we're in captivity, you know, we're signing crime. But yet people are still out here being wicked. You know, uh, committing adultery, you know, being Satanists, being, uh, being, uh, you know, transformers out here. Right. And nobody's speaking about that. And nobody is, you know, um, um, how can I say? No one is, uh, exposing that, but, but the elect, you know, but the men of Yahweh Shemal Shai. That's why he says in the Psalm 94 and 16, it says, who shall rise up against me against, excuse me, who shall rise up for me? Against the evildoers, okay? And who's doing that? The elect, okay? The men that are standing stiffly for the names of Yahweh, Bahashim, Yahweh Shai, okay? So, yeah, man. So, uh, you know, uh, these people, you know, you know, all they know is, is, is Babylon. You know, all they know is, you know, is, is Babylon. You sip on, you know, that wine of Babylon. These people, you know, you know, they've been drunk of that wine of Babylon, you know? But that's why the, the scriptures say, um, uh, 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 let me, what does it say? It says, uh, for, for uh, may, let me get it real quick. I don't want to butcher it. Okay. This is the book of, uh, second Ezra eight and verse 50. And it says for many great miseries, right? It says for many great miseries shall be done to them that in the latter time shall dwell in the world because they have walked in great pride. Let's read it one more time. Second Edges chapter eight and verse fifty, for many great miseries shall be done to them that in the latter time, and we're living in the latter time, we're living in the last days of the last days, okay. But things are, are things are going to start picking up even more. Things are going to increase. You know, we ain't see shit yet, man. We haven't seen anything yet. You know, we haven't seen. You know, we we not we not in Jacob's trouble yet, okay. We still waiting on the MOTB, in which that that's around the corner. Right. We're still waiting on the prophecy of World War Three, you know, nuclear war. Right. We're still waiting on the return of Yahweh Shai, you know, our deliverance. So there is a few, a few more prophecies that have to be, you know, uh, manifested. OK, thanks. So. But things are, you know, you know, gradually happening, but soon they're going to become fully manifest. So we're definitely living in these latter times. OK, but right here it says for many great miseries shall be done to them that in the latter time shall dwell in the world be because they walk because they have walked in great pride you see and like we we're saying at the beginning of this lesson you know people you know they um you know they're very prideful they're very you know bitter they're very you know just man like th these are the babylonians they have a, a whole different spirit on them man you know the the western civilization is just you know it can rub you the wrong way you know and and, and once you really step into babylon and see you know, uh, how these people operate and how they act, you can truly see 
while the Lord is going to you know destroy them, you know, and also to destroy this you know this kingdom, okay, because no one here besides the elect is thinking about you know um the end of this place. No one here besides the elect is thinking about you know Babylon being you know coming to an uh a halt, okay, because this all they this all they know, you know they they want to stay here, they want to you know uh, uh you know you know continue to be here and have a little consolation, you know, have children, you know, and, and have them grow up and go to college and things like that. Hell no. That shit is out the window, man. Babylon's played out. Babylon's through. But yet people, they, they want to, you know, hold on of this American dream, you know, but really this American dream is it's a nightmare. It's really a nightmare. Okay. And it says, um, because they have walked in great pride, you see, like the scriptures say, um, Let's get it real quick. This is the book of Proverbs. Chapter 16. And verse 18. Uh, oldie but goldie, right? It says, pride go before destruction. You see, because, you know, when you're prideful, you know, you're not uh, looking at the bigger picture. You know, you're just thinking about that moment in time. You know, just like how Esau, you know, I remember a brother was telling me how he had uh, seen uh, like a shirt or something like that or like some something online. I forgot, I forgot what it was or, or, or like, you know, his exact words. But he said that Esau was wearing like a uh, a, uh, a a shirt pertaining to World War Three, saying three peak, you know, uh, re referencing that they will win World War Three. That's pride right there. You see, because, you know, World, World War One, World War Two, you know, Babylon, you know, they fought in both those wars. And they think because that they've been ruined for so long, for a few centuries, that they're going to win again. But that's pride because you're blinded by that pride. You see? So because in the scriptures and in the Bible, okay, a biblical prophecy says that Babylon will lose in World War III. All right? Babylon's not going to, you know, rise up from the ashes like the phoenix and things like that. And no, Babylon is going to get annihilated. It's going to, you know, be turned into a desolate wilderness uh, as is written in the book of Jewel. The second chapter. Okay. So it says pride go before destruction. You know, like the old saying goes, you know, pride is one hell of a drug because that pride can blind you. And that's why the scriptures say that uh Esau has uh Esau um Esau's pride has uh, um has deceived him. You see, the Lord has put this man in the ultimate trick bag. Okay, he thinks that he's gonna keep ruling forever, being wickedness, uh, excuse me, being wicked. These people think that America is going to keep going on and, you know, what about uh, the men of the Lord are in captivity suffering? Hell no, man. That's that's I'm mean, listen. Babylon is on his last leg. Babylon is on its way out. OK, and we're just, you know, waiting patiently for you. How about Shmau Shai to uh, to completely, you know, um, to completely um, um, terminate Babylon. As the scriptures say, this place is going to get. You know, uh, brought down low. It's gonna get brought down low, man. All right, and it says, "In a haughty spirit before a fall." You see, right? A haughty spirit before a fall. Okay, real quick, let me just see what this says in the NLT. All right, this is Proverbs chapter sixteen and verse eighteen, the NLT, and it says, uh, "Pride go goes before destruction, and haughtiness before a fall." Okay, now the word, a uh, haughty or haughtiness. OK, it says uh, the appearance of or quality of being arrogantly superior and disdainful arrogance. Right. So pride, you know, uh, uh, you know, these people, they have that that spirit of pride in them because they have they may have like the small constellation and they're 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 in Babylon, America, and they think that they can just do anything that they want. Well, no, you got to pay. For, you got to, you know, you know, give a count to Reverend and Dave judgment. You see. People are not gonna, you know, uh, get away with, you know, what they're, what they're doing and what they have been doing. Okay, this Babylon is it's called the Valley of the Shadow of Death, man. This is a very uh, uh, a low place, a very low vibration here. You know, imagine you you go to overseas and on the, the the Eastern Hemisphere to uh, you know, some other country. You know, it's a good environment, no garbage in the streets. People are respectful, whole different, you know, um, environment. And then imagine going from uh, from out of that country back over here to uh, the West here in uh, uh, Babylon. 
whole different vibration, man. You know, even the air, I, I believe it. I, I believe that the air smells different in other in other places than over here in Babylon. You know, when you when you uh, sniff so called fresh air over here, you know you smell cigarette smoke. You smell you smell uh, uh, feces. You know, you smell um, man just a uh, factory smoke, environmental pollution. You know, people are over here just, you know, uh, uh, um, drugged up, you know, because of, uh, uh, you know, uh, Esau's, you know, uh, his uh, his um, harmful capsules, you know, those P.I.L.L.s, if you know what I'm talking about. Right. So everything here is just the foul, man. Actually, let me just get it real quick. Let me get it real quick because I did quote it earlier. All right. Let me get a couple of precepts, then we can end it. So real quick, let me snag this in Isaiah 24. Let's see. Salakia. This is the book of Isaiah, chapter 24. And verse... Let's see, Lord's walk to find it. Um, yep, this is Isaiah 24 and verse uh, 5. It says, the earth also is defiled under the inhabitants thereof because they have transgressed the laws, changed the ordinance, and broken the everlasting covenant. Now, let's read this in the NLT. Isaiah 24 and verse 5, it says, the earth suffers for the sins of his people, for they have twisted the most high's instructions violated his laws and broken his everlasting covenant you see and that's right now okay this this place i i've never seen now of course you know evilness and wickedness has been you know has been here around for a, you know for a, you know a minute right but i've never seen it in my days of living here on earth right i've never seen it as bad as it is now you know women are just you know they're very skimpy and very you know out of order you know uh, uh you know you have uh children they're uh just as backwards you have men and wanting to be women and you know vice versa with the you know with the women you know everything is just out of order man everything defiled everything here is and next real quick let's look up this word defiled and see what this word means the the, the blue of the bible okay now look it up the word here is strong's h 2610 hanaf Khanaif. It is Khanaif. And that word is says to be profaned, but the uh defiled, polluted, to be corrupt, to be godless, right? And that's all the um the attributes, or should I say the uh the uh um that's all you know the words that sums up Babylon in a nutshell. This place is polluted, it's defiled, it's profane, is is definitely godless. Okay, because when you go to real quick, when you go to uh, uh let's see, when you go to the book of Hosea, right? Now the context is talking about you know the the children of Israel, but but this can apply to today, to you know what we see here in Babylon, right? So this Hosea four and one, it says, "Hear the word of the Lord, uh, Yahweh Shmuel Shai, ye children of Israel, right? Because the word is meant for the Israelites, right? You know the scriptures, the Bible." You know, this is for you, right? But not only the elect is going to take heed and repent to Yahweh Bashem al Shai, but the rest of the of Jake's, you know, they're going to just, they're going to die off. Now, of course, they're going to come back in the kingdom, you know, and, and the right spirit, you know, with the new covenant and their inward parts, but they're going to have to go through some, some horrible judgment before they can taste that sweet, right? So it says, um, Ye children of Israel, for the Lord Yahweh Bashem al Shai had the controversy. With the inhabitants of the land. All right. Now the word controversy. We go into this this word real quick. The word here for controversy. Strong's H seventy three seventy nine. Reeve. 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 And second entry. Oh, Rev. Rev. And third entry. Rev. Rev. Okay, so the word there for controversy in the Greek or in, um. Excuse me, in the uh, well, right, right here, the Hebrew is saying uh, Reeb. So that's that's probably a little off. But 
it says the meaning is uh, strife, uh, dispute, or a case at law, a a uh, a quarrel, contention. You see, so you know the Lord Yahweh Shmuel Shai has, you know, a con a um a, a contention with the inhabitants, right? Because look, just look at it today. People like like we said, like I said earlier, you know, people are just and they're in, in a do what's that will spirit. They think that this place is gonna keep going on. They don't care about you serving Yahweh about Shmuel Shai and you suffering, you know, doing your best to serve the Lord, right? Fighting a good fight of faith, the spiritual war that you're in. And nobody, you know, knows about that. You know, they're just about their own. You know, they're not about, you know, you know they don't know that prophecy is going to, you know, is, is happening right in their lifetime. You know, they don't care about Yahweh about Shmuel Shai. You see, they're, they're all about their, you know, uh, themselves. You see? Their minds are not fixated on Yahweh Bashmal Shai. And it says, Oh, especially our people, especially our people, man. And it says, um, uh, the Lord Yahweh Bashmal Shai, the controversy with the inhabitants of the land, because there was no truth, right? This place is definitely no truth. You know, before I before I came into the truth, you know, I I, I was deceived my whole life. You know, you know, uh, Esau's, you know, school system, you know, uh, you know, uh, um, uh, people that you knew in your in your uh, in your life, uh, uh, they, you thought they were loyal to you, but but they weren't, you know. So, man, this place is cutthroat, man. It says no truth, uh, uh, no mercy, definitely no mercy here, nor knowledge of the Most High in the land. And what did we uh, read back in Isaiah? Isaiah twenty uh, four and five. The word defiled goes into and goes into the, uh, into the word uh, godless. You see, so there is no. Inkling of Yahweh Bashmal Shai in Babylon, except for the uh, the men of Yahweh Bashmal Shai that that is pushing the you know prophecy, preaching in the name of Yahweh Bashmal Shai, Bashar and You see, that's the only you know knowledge that is that it that is of the Lord out here. Besides that, everybody's through. Everybody's spiritually dead. You see, so this place is defiled. You know, uh, everything here is upside down. Everything here, you know, is 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 uh. Is not right. It's very discombobulated. Okay, and that's why, like like I said earlier, I'm gonna grab this Psalms 82 and verse six. Uh, excuse me, uh, verse five, and it says, "They know not, neither would they understand. They walk on in darkness, right? That gross darkness. People out here, you know, they're under that um that uh you know the uh the spells and you know and, and that." At least that uh, has them to be ignorant, you know, they, you know, they're very, uh, you know, ignorant to uh, what's going on around them, very oblivious. So they're in that gross darkness, you know, and, you know, when you are, in, you know, in the dark, what does that mean? That means you, you can't see, you don't know what's around you, you don't know what's in front of you, behind you. So that's the mind of these people out here, you know, they're just very, you know, uh, they're, spirit they're spiritually asleep, right? Especially our people. So it says they walk on in darkness. And it says all the foundations of the earth are out of course. Okay, now, real quick, I'm just curious to see what the word foundation means in the BOB. Okay, it doesn't give me definition, just give me the same word, which is foundation. All right, uh, let's look it up in Google. Uh, Right here it says uh, foundation. The second meaning it says an underlying basis or principle. You see, so all the so all the you know the uh, the ways of Yahweh Bashmal Shai, the the principles of life, the uh, the uh, you know uh, natural you know human morals, you know that's out of course, man. That that is that is out the window, especially in twenty twenty four in Babylon. You know people don't you know uh, act. You know they're not righteous. You know, you know, just to, you know, uh, for lack of better words, people here are not righteous, man. That's why we, we, we continue to fight to be righteous, you know, in a world that's, you know, that's wicked. Just like how Lot, real quick, let's grab this. Okay. This is a uh, second Peter two and verse uh, six. I'll start at, yeah, verse six to verse eight. And it says, and turn the cities of Sodom and Gomorrah into ashes condemned them with their overthrow, right? Because that fire and brimstone that the Most High shot upon Sam Gomorrah and also too upon the, you know, the neighboring cities that, uh, 
you know, uh, destroyed that place, right? And it says, making them an, an, an example, meaning what? An example unto those that after should live ungodly and deliver just Lot, right? The word just means righteous. So Lot was a righteous man, right? And they delivered just Lot, vexed with the free the conversation of the wicked, right? He, you know, he was vexed with the, you know, the way of life, how they, you know, were living. You know, they were, it was nasty. You know, they were, you know, basically doing the same things that people are doing today here in, here in Babylon. Because we, because like the, the, the scriptures say, I believe you have a shy said it. I, I have to look it up real quick after this a precept, but uh, I believe you have a shy said that we're living in the days of Lot and Noah. Matter of fact, let me just uh, let me just get this real quick. Days of Lot and Noah. Let's see. Hmm. It's like it, uh, days. Let's put in Noah. Okay, days of uh of hmm. Um, okay, I can't find it, but uh, yeah, but the scriptures say that um, I believe how Shai said, you know, the days of Lot and the days of Noah. Okay, so he was vexed with you know how they were living, so how they were back in that time is is the same thing that they're doing today. Okay, and it's just it's the same wickedness. Okay, if not, it's more wickedness. It's, it's increased. Okay, verse eight and it says, for that righteous man dwelling among them, right? This righteous man, just like how. You know, we uh, brought out early through the Spirit, Ezekiel 94. You know, we are signing of crying about the abominations that be done to Mr. Rev. So imagine how, how so imagine how Lot felt, man. Excuse me. Uh, imagine how Lot uh, felt. Because right here it says that he was vexed. He was, he was, let's, let's look at this word me real quick. I mean, the, the blue letter of Bible for the word vexed. It means to, to, uh, to treat roughly, to oppress. Okay. To afflict or oppress with evils, you know, and that's how we feel, man. You know, we are we we feel, we are we're oppressed here, you know. And that word oppression, I believe, uh, basically goes into uh the meaning of a uh, cruel authority, okay. So, just like how Lot, you know, felt back in his time, the same way how we feel, man. You know, oppressed. You know, you got you know wickedness on all sides. People out here just living, you know, living their lives, you know, in a, in a prideful manner. Not not caring about you or you how about Shemal, uh, or you how about Shemal Shai. Well, first and foremost, not caring about the Lord, right? Because he because you know the, the uh because he he's the creator, you know, and, and the creature is is out here just wild, you know, uh running wild out here and just it's it just off the wall, man, you know, being a hot mess, you know. And, and when I say creature, I'm talking about the people out here, you know, the, you know these humans, right? So it says. For that righteous man dwelling among them and seeing and hearing vex his righteous soul from day to day with their unlawful deeds. You see, but that's why, you know, their unlawful deeds is going to get put to a stop very, very soon. OK, their unlawful deeds are going to get checked right at the door very, very soon, man. OK. Wickedness is going to come to a stop very, very soon. And real quick, let's get this last preset and end it off off here. This is Isaiah 13 and verse 11. And it says, uh, actually, let's see. Let's read in the NLT. Isaiah 13 and verse 11, in the NLT says, I, the Lord, you have about small shy, will punish the world for their, for its evil. You see? So, so punishment is coming to, you know, this world. It's coming to these people out here. All right. Judgment. And it says, I, the Lord, Yahweh Bashmah Shai, will punish the world for its evil and the wicked for their sin. I will crush the arrogance of the proud and humble the pride of the mighty. Okay? So, yeah, man, just know that, you know, the pride of these inhabitants of Babylon is going to get to lay the rest very soon. Okay? You know, you know, and, and the people out here that, 
that don't know about privacy, that don't know what's going on, hey, they are through, okay? Let them keep, you know, doing what they do. Hey, let them have it because, hey, this is the last go around for uh for Babylon, for, you know, for, for Esau. The scriptures say that Esau is the end of the world and Jacob is the beginning of it that followeth, okay? So that being said, I was going to say, call Lang La, Yahweh, Bahashem, Yahweh Shai, Bahashem, Kakwadash. Double honor be unto the elder apostles, a great millstone that do rule and teach well. And the Shalom to Akim out there that's pushing the truth through the spirit, through the power, and through the name of Yahweh, Bahashem, Yahweh Shai, Bahashem, Kakwadash. And Lord's will, the Lord's sheep was fed and edified. Shalom.